Everyone who's come to the fireside chat. This week, we have something very special. The lovely people, Gabby and Mikel, in Brazil have been working for several years to implement syntropic agriculture and mimicking natural ecological systems. So they're both functional and productive. They've been holding trainings Mick from the foundation has been out to look at what they've been doing. They've been making some videos and they're going to explain what it is and how you can come there and learn and how you can collaborate with the entire uh, camps movement to make new camps participate in existing camps and together we can all restore the earth well I wanted to say a couple of other things because it's mostly about Camp Desperto today but I wanted you to know that I've been working on creating a podcast called The Flourishing Path And this is planned to turn into a streaming and broadcast series of programs that will feature restoration around the world, including in ecosystem restoration camps, but not exclusively in ecosystem restoration camps. And uh, Dr. Jane Goodall has made uh, a contribution to this and I'll, I'll put that in the link so you'll be able to see that. And I'll show you some films from the place where I'm staying. I'll put the links to those into the, uh, into the chat so you can look at that. And I'll discuss the possibilities for this because All of the camps can be featured in a new streaming service called Ecoflix. And Ecoflix is a nonprofit streaming service. So even though it's got a a small price, I think if you purchase it, the subscription by the year, it's I think $3.99 a month. But if you're a teacher, your class can watch all of the Ecoflix films for free by accessing 
a free educational subscription. And so we can use this mechanism to communicate about ecosystem restoration throughout the world for free to teachers and students. And we can fill up Ecoflix with videos that teach restoration and encourage and explain the role of each individual in restoration. So this is a pretty exciting development and I think it will also lead to the streaming and broadcast series, which could go even further to uh, encourage and inspire people and will live. And all of this information will live on the internet. And next, the next generations will grow up knowing how fertile soils were created, constantly filtered, and continuously renewed. And where the oxygenated atmosphere comes from and is renewed. And uh, the importance of biodiversity and symbiosis for life. The only other thing that I really think we need to talk about right now that I need to, to, to share with you is that we have to have peace in order to restore the earth. We can't imagine that we're going to turn back into the dark ages and destroy human civilization, destroy each other, destroy the land and the rivers and the soils and the forests and the biodiversity. So I think understanding that we have to look at these traumatic and dramatic and well violent and brutal and barbaric things which are taking place now and understand what they are but then we have to work harder to do the opposite to restore the earth systems, to build happy, healthy, functional, ecological communities. And that's what I see happening in camps around the world. So I'm sure you're gonna have a great time today and we're gonna learn a lot. So thanks for listening to me and welcome to the Fireside Chat. <laughs>